Dennis, the lone survivor of one of Tampa's most notorious serial killers, speaking out for the first time since the governor signed her attacker's death warrant. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska with how a teen outsmarted a killer, saving herself and countless others. Bobby Joe Long killed at least 10 women in Tampa, and on November the 3rd, 1984, he tried adding one more to his macabre list. And put the gun to my left temple. And I yelled out, said, God, whatever you do, just don't kill me. I'll do whatever you want. Lisa Nolan says the night Long abducted her, she planned to kill herself. One bad situation got me to another bad situation to what saved my life, because the night before I'm doing my suicide note, and the next night I'm fighting for my life. What Nolan endured and survived now seared into her memory. The next 26 hours, I was brutally raped by this monster. And I'm going to put it out there. It's not molestation, it's not sexual assault, it is rape. I endured that for 26 hours. A day of torture she thought would end in death didn't. Using reverse psychology, she earned Long's trust. He had mentioned that he, was, he had raped other women and not that it made it okay. And um, I said, why are you doing this to me? He goes, because just to get back at women in general. I said, I'll be your girlfriend. Nolan says that saved her life. It really helped me survive that attack uh, to use it psych psychologically to get inside his head and, and, and get to actually try to get him to see that I was a compassionate person. Long let her go, and she led police right to him. 35 years later, she's ready for the tables to be turned. Long will be in court Friday in Tampa trying to get a stay of execution, claiming lethal injection is cruel and unusual punishment. Yeah, there's forgiveness, okay? But there's also a price to pay for that forgiveness. His time is coming, and he knows it, and ironically, he's very scared. It's about time. Nolan spent the last 20 years with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. The master deputy dedicating her life to helping others is now ready to put the pain of the past behind her. I'm hoping to get a full night's sleep without any eruptions. I have not slept since 1984. Long's execution is set for May 23rd. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.